Hello guys, so it's mid-January 2019, and if you've seen my other videos, you probably realize I very much care about healthcare as a topic. This week provided an Easter egg of a discussion because Rand Paul, the ultra-libertarian Republican from Kentucky, who rails against socialized medicine and even was so extremist in his views, he used a speech on the floor of the U.S. Senate to call uh, universal health care slavery. Now, to any rational observer, that comment makes no sense. But this week we got the news that good old Rand Paul of Kentucky is choosing to have his hernia surgery right here in Ontario, Canada, at the Shoulders Hernia Hospital, which is actually 10 minutes from my condo. I know it quite well. So, a local newspaper in Louisville, Kentucky, the Courier Journal, released the story. And one of Rand Paul's communication specialists in his uh, office, in, office in Washington uh, fired back by stating, this is a private, for-profit hospital, not part of any system, as their defense. Well, I've done my own research, and here's what I found out. While it is true, most hospitals and clinics here in Ontario, Canada, are either public Medicare hospitals or private nonprofit hospitals and clinics. For example, just last year I received a colonoscopy at a private nonprofit clinic myself. The fact is, this hospital is for profit for one reason only. It was open before the Ontario Health Insurance Plan was enacted. It's a very old hospital. They grandfathered in the Shoulders Hernia Hospital. But here is another truth. As an Ontarian myself, with an OHIP card, I would pay nothing to, re to receive services at the Shoulders Hernia Hospital should I choose to go there. In fact, the vast majority of the hospital's funding comes from OHIP pat patients and government funding. It is absolutely part of the system that Rand Paul's communication specialists are trying to lie and distract from. So there you have it, people. Rand Paul is a hypocrite. He has lambasted Canadian-style health care for his own or for his entire political career. And this is a man that has used ridiculous terminology to describe our socialized insurance and hospital services. He thinks just because he doesn't have an OHIP card and he, he has to pay out of pocket to the tune of thousands of dollars, he thinks that gives him a free ride. However, I don't uh, think that he deserves that free ride. Look, I hope he enjoys his visit here. I hope he comes here to Ontario. hope he receives the best medical treatment possible. Reportedly, this hospital is a leading world hospital for non-mesh hernia repair, which is rare to get, which is why he chose it. But I hope he learns a lesson. I hope he stops this heated rhetoric of his. Because yes, Rand Paul, you are absolutely using an OHIP facility. Yes, it happens to be a for-profit private hospital, but that doesn't matter. It is fully covered and regulated by my government health insurance plan. So yes, Rand Paul, the Libertarian Republican, made the choice to choose a Canadian hospital when he saw it suit himself. Yet he doesn't want Americans to afford the same coverage. I think these facts speak for themselves, and you guys can make your own mind up. Read the news links below if you want more information, and I thank you for watching.